The Tea Off Season is brought to you by Molson Canadian 67, proud sponsor of golf and the official sport of the Gaia. What's going on, guys? So I'm Daniel Carcillo, play for the LA Kings. I'm here to take on Kyle Quincy in a little golf challenge. I am a 23 handicap, so I'm probably gonna get 10 strokes on three holes. I think that's what we agreed to, and uh, I'm gonna do my best. And Carcillo's opponent is? I'm Kyle Quincy, Detroit Red Wings, playing a little golf challenge with Dan Carcillo Carbomb. Hopefully, uh, I spank him pretty good. All right, and Andy, today on Score Golf TV, here's our match play. Kyle Quincy, Daniel Carcillo, and uh, we're at the Weston Golf Club, 15, 16, and 17, a par three, a par five, and a par four for you guys to uh, match up. The rules, of course, are that uh, it's match play, and if we're tied at the end of three holes, it's gonna be a little chip off, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, Daniel, uh, you were saying that uh, you're not quite as talented a golfer as him, you don't think? Kyle's a scratch golfer. Um, I think he could have picked golf or hockey. Probably should have picked golf. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm up there. I'm, uh, I'm around 23, so this should be interesting. I think I, I think I get a few strokes. Can you get into his head maybe? Get into his kitchen a bit? Ah, that's my game. That's right. my game. I've already started. Okay, and Kyle, are you a scratch golfer? Are you that good? No, nah, he's lying. <laughs> yeah. so, but you are a pretty good golfer from what I understand. I, I, I used to be pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And not anymore? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I guess we will see. All right, let's get things started here in today's match. All right, first hole. And Daniel, you've negotiated two strokes here. That's pretty good. One on the five, one on the four. Like I said, I think I should get one each hole, but Kyle's a little scared. He has been duck hooking it a little bit this morning. That one's high enough. Get in the bunker. Are you dancing? Dancing. Nice to play. On the green. Good shot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 23 handicap. That's embarrassing. Yeah. Never gotten up this early for a golf round, Bob. <laughs> Maybe you getting out of bed then was the TSN turning point. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually a rarity to see him before uh, 9 o'clock. The bear doesn't like to get out of his den too early. <laughs> get in! Get in! <laughs> That'll work. Okay, I think, I think the advantage goes to Kyle. <laughs> Carcillo's in the trees and now is in the drop zone. I don't know what's more distracting, the plane's overhead or Bob's shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Got that face wide open. Ooh. Get down. There we go. John the Green. Dancing. He's dancing. We're back in business. Even with Carcillo on the green, all Quincy needs to do is putt this close and finish out in three to win the hole. Uphill putt, it's on line, not bad. Get there. Wow, pretty good. After one hole, Kyle Quincy is one up. Daniel, uh, you got a stroke on this hole. I, this is the first time in our math play series that anyone's negotiated a stroke, so give yourself credit for that. That's a, a small victory right there, but uh, think you're gonna need it or you think you can just handle them? I'll most likely need it. Um, I mean, we've played, uh, I mean, Kyle have known each other for a long time. We played growing up and he's a good golfer. So um, one stroke will help. Two would probably be fair, but we'll go with one. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, 16th hole, par five. You can let the shaft out. Mm -hmm. The big doggy. Playing a little draw off the right side. Oh, settle oh, down. Shots now. He started it off. Oh, it is coming back too. That is pretty. Pretty good shot. That is pretty. And with that drive, Kyle finds himself in the rough. Oh! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I don't need to see that. Beautiful fairway shot for Carcillo. I'm actually in the fairway, so I won the long drive competition. Kyle didn't qualify. He's, uh, he's a little further, but in the rough. Um, I've got about 205 to the hole. I still have a stroke in hand. Uh, definitely going for it. It's a little uphill, so um, but I definitely need this hole to, uh, to keep this match play going. Oh, a rocket! Better get down. Hit the rock. It's over the back. Might be a little long. What a sandbagger! Pressure's on Quincy to get one on the green in two. A lot of bunkers up there. At 23 handicap on the green in two with a stroke. You get lucky sometimes. Get in the bunker. 
Oh no, he found the sand. Kyle came prepared today with his David Hasselhoff glasses. Oh, that's what I need. That could be a little bit long. Does it have any juice? Oh, he's over the green. Door swings open. Before these guys could finish their hole, previous match play winner and former Maple Leaf Jeff O'Neill was in the middle of a game of his own at Weston. Well, you never know who you're going to run into here. Here's one of our former uh, contestants on the match play, Jeff O'Neill. Jeff, you got any uh, advice for these guys, especially for Daniel here? He's, uh, he's fighting to hang on here. Well, I'm playing in a club match right now, and from what I've seen from back behind the tee, these guys need a lot of work. If any of them advance, I'd be happy to take them on in a future match. Oh, there you go. There's the gauntlet has been thrown down. Jeff, go, uh, go play your match. Okay. We'll worry about this one. Good seeing you guys. And now back to our match, where if Carcillo can get this close to the hole, he'll most likely win it. Ah, silky touch. Silky touch, look at this one running out. Okay, not bad. Quincy needs to drill this chip, otherwise he'll lose the hole to Carcillo. Ah, uh, I needed that. I needed that. Oh no, he missed and concedes the hole to Carcillo. We are now all square heading to the final hole. Oh, he got a hold of that one. Look at that. Are you kidding me right now? Woo! Arcillo ripped it right down the fairway. <laughs> nice shot. That uh, You couldn't have walked that out there any better. He's trying to turn that one over. Here it comes. It's coming. The wind's helping, too. Quincy hammered this one, but it's found the bunkers. Good cart golf. Right up beside the green. You guys have hit long ones there. Here we go. Let's go and chip and putt. All right, so uh, I just came out of my shorts on that drive. Hit it about 310 yards. I've got uh, 35 roughly left. Um, got a stroke to play with, but I want to hit this close, and I've got a really good chance to win. So Playing the bump and run Scottish style. That could be pretty good. Are you kidding me? Quincy's in disbelief by Carcillo's play. Just on at the back. Nicely done. What a joke. Now here's Quincy out of the bunker. There's a silky touch right there. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. With the easy tap in, Carcillo now needs to hole out in two to extend this to a chip off. Suddenly the tables have turned. If he sinks this putt, Kyle, he wins. Yeah, I think he's a long way from there. You guys keep it down over there, please? I'm trying to putt for the win. <laughs> Knowing him, he's going to go for it. It is a little downhill. Yeah, don't, don't say that too loudly. Uh, it's going to get there. It's going to get there. And wow, just a little bit past. Oh. Not in the hole yet, is it? He sinks this, we send it to a chip off. Yeah. Not too many 23 handicaps on this putt. Right in the heart, right in the heart. And we go to the chip off. All right, boys, titanic struggle here. Quite a match, I'll tell you. This is something else. I wasn't expecting this. The uh, low handicapper versus the high handicapper. Very good negotiator. You got the strokes in there. It's all come down to this. I've got a little chip shot. One shot close to the hole is going to take it all. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. Ready. Okay. Arcillo's up first. Flying my ball. <laughs> Give it a ride. It's got wings, it could give itself a ride. Oh boy. Gotta that skate. Need to skate a bit. Gotta skate! Okay. Door's open. Quincy has plenty of green to play with. That looks pretty good. There it is, he wins it. Wow, what a comeback. Well, great match, guys. We thought, to be honest with you, it was gonna be over a little early, but Daniel, you uh, showed some muscle there coming back with those last two holes. Great, great playing. Yeah, yeah, you know, I went uh, went par-par, and Kyle was giving me a hard time for the strokes, but par-par's not good enough against him, you know, even with a stroke advantage. Right to the chip off, and Kyle, here you go. This is the uh, the, the hardware you get to, to carry home, and you can put this on the mantle, especially anytime you have him over for dinner or so. Exactly, I'll bring it on, put it right on the uh, Lazy Sioux when you come over. <laughs> yeah, <that was> <laughs> And the other thing we have for you, Kyle, here is uh, you get this tailor-made driver, and we're going to send you to their Matt Performance Fitting Center, and you get to sit, get fit for this perfect driver. Not that you need it. It seems like you're hitting it pretty far already, but we much. can get you tuned up for a new one. Right on. If I knew this at the beginning of the match, Bob, I think I would have played a little harder. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> thanks. It was a lot of fun, and uh, we can take care of you, too. All right, cool, All right thanks. thanks. <laughs>